Instagram. Welcome back to my channel. Today's look is going to be this one right here, which is a very bold, smoky look inspired by drag queens, 1950s glamour, Betty Page, and kind of S&M influences. So I've just done my base and I use Kat Von D Lock It Primer Foundation and concealer. I set my base with Ben Nye Luxury Powder and the NYX Contour and Highlight Palette. I also prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm gonna go in and contour my face now using that NYX Contour and Highlight Palette. I'm also using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Brush using the shade end. Dipping it in the taupe coloured brown. Just focusing on the cheekbone area, from the ear to the mouth, but only focusing on this area here, then buffing it out. I'm also gonna contour my temples a little bit. I'm just gonna do a little bit on my jawline with the excess on my brush. Now I'm gonna contour the end of my nose using this fluffy brush from Sugar Pill. Just getting a teeny bit of product on my brush. I'm just kind of dusting the end of my nose. I'm just gonna blend this out with the brush I set my foundation with. Now I'm gonna use a strobing souffle by Sleek. I haven't used this yet, so I'm gonna give it a go right now. I like a nice pop and highlight, so I think this might be a good base. I'm just gonna pat it along my cheekbone. I'm gonna highlight my nose and Cupid's bow with a brush from Makeup Store. This is the 705 brush. This is my favorite highlight right now. It's OMG by Illamasqua. It's quite a new product and it's just a really good highlighter. Great payoff. And it's gold, but it still looks good on my skin. If you're extremely, extremely pale, you know, white or pink toned, then maybe don't use this. I've got kind of olive undertone, so I can get away with this gold. So I'm just patting it onto the tip of my nose. Now I'm just brushing it onto my upper bridge, just to slim my nose out a little bit. Pop that onto the cupid's bow as well. I'm not gonna highlight my eyes yet because I'll do that when I do my eyeshadow. I usually use a fan brush for my cheekbones, but I can't find it, so I'm gonna use this brush. But first I'm just gonna blend out my nose highlight with this clean brush, just so it doesn't look too harsh. I'm gonna dip it into OMG and dab it on there. Because I've just put the souffle on by Sleek, it's holding onto it nicely. I'm gonna glow and bring it just above the brow as well. So with the other side that has no product on, I'm just gonna buff that around just again so it looks quite natural. I'm also gonna add a little bit of blush to this base using the NYX Sweet Cheeks palette. I'm gonna use this kind of salmon tone here. What I like about these is they're not overly pigmented and usually that would be a bad thing, but for blush, I hate it when you dip in the brush, you put it on your cheek and there's just a giant splotch of pink. I don't tend to use blush that often, so I just want it to be nice and subtle because my skin is quite pale. Time for brows. I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. I'm gonna use my Royal and Langnickel Eyebrow Brush. It doesn't have a number, but it's, it's nice and firm and small, which is great for eyebrows. In conjunction with my Dip Brow, I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I'm gonna use the brush from that and maybe even the pencil. I'm just gonna brush through my brow hair so they're all facing the same direction. Now these brows are going to be very bold to go with today's look. I want them quite straight. So I've just gone in with that first line. So now I can build upwards from that line without disturbing these hairs here because we want them to be kind of ombre. When you feel like you have less product on the brush, then you can start brushing this way. But when you've got a lot of product on the brush, stick to this end, because that's the end that you want to be nice and bold and slick. Now I'm 
Now I'm going onto the top of the brow, creating a defined line. And now I'm going to wing out these brows. So with this part of the brow, I'm just going to go in with my spoolie from my brow wiz. I haven't even put any product on the front part of my brow. So now we've got these crazy thick headband brows. I'm going to go in with concealer and kind of clean them up a bit. I'm going to use Kat Von D's Lock It Concealer. This brush is called PM2 by Furless Cosmetics. Wipe the excess of your brush onto your hand and then blend the concealer out. Now I'm going to use the Too True Instant Colour Clear Mascara to lock those hairs in place. I'm just going to pat some loose powder onto my under eye to keep it safe from ruin. I'm going to go in with the Moon Shadow Palette by Makeup Store. It's so pretty. I think I'm going to go in with that grey colour there. I'm going to bring that through the crease and up to the other side. I did not plan this look, so I don't really know how it's gonna turn out. As always, now I'm gonna get Love Plus from the Sugar Pearl Pro palette and apply that to my lids. I'm gonna softly blend that out with the brush we just used. Now I'm gonna go in with this little pencil brush and get that shimmery burgundy color from the Makeup Store palette. I'm kind of gonna halo this around the red. And I'm coming in again with this brush to blend it out. Then with the same pencil brush, I'm using that speckled silver black and I'm gonna add that to the outer corners. I kind of follow that halo shape and blend it out again. Now to bring in some more depth, I'm gonna use Bulletproof Black by Sugar Pill. I'm gonna add this to the outer eye and blend again. I'm using a fluffy sugar pill brush to just buff that out even more. Now I'm going to go in with that highlight colour that we used at the beginning, OMG by Ella Masca, and go just under the brow bone. I'm now going to get Lumi by Sugar Pill, which is probably my favourite sugar pill product ever. Dip this highlight brush in, just pat it onto the inner corner of the eye. I'm going to blend this upwards a little bit. I'm going to go under the brow bone and add a little bit of this colour. Now I'm going to add a little more red to the centre of the lid where we might have lost it. Now I'm going to brush away this loose powder. On the bottom lid I'm going to get that bulletproof black and link up this line. I'm going to bring this big flip down onto my lower lash. Now I'm going to line my waterline before I go any further so I can just see how far out I want the smoke to be. I'm using a NYX two timer liner. Now I'm going to add more black. Now I'm going to get a fluffy brush and blend. I'm now going to dip the tip of this fluffy brush in that Love Plus red shadow and blend it in. I just want a really subtle red smoke. And 
now I'm going to use Kat Von D's tattoo liner and kind of follow this direction that we've already created and just create a black line along the lash line. Now I'm going to do the wing and I'm going to go pretty far out with it. And now I'm going to bring it back home. Now I'm going to meet this black liner with some smoky black shadow. Just kind of buff out the line and bring it up so it meets my crease. And I'm going to blend this line out. I'm just going to use the excess on this blending brush to bring this smoke down the bridge of my nose a little bit. I'm going to curl my lashes and then use Urban Decay's Perversion Mascara. Now I'm going to apply lipstick. I'm going to use Sugar Pills Nurse lipstick on the centre of my lips and Black Moon Cosmetics Deranged on the outside. Make sure you blend these together before deranged has dried because it is a liquid to matte lipstick. So for that final bit of drama, I'm going to be using these massive sugar pill lashes. I've had them for a while so I don't know the name of them but check them out on the website, they'll be the biggest ones there. Now I've applied lash glue, I'm going to wait about 30 seconds to a minute before I apply them to my lash line. I'm going to make sure there's no glue or lash band visible using my tattoo liner. So this is the final look. I've added some earrings, doodad and fandango, and this is just a big hair piece from a wig shop. Uh, thanks so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you liked this and want to see more videos let me know if this is a bit too crazy for you or if you want more craziness or if you want more wearable looks that you can wear day to day let me know comment tell me what you think of this tell me what you want in the future i want to bring you more videos